Hey guys, it's Deathcore Commissar, and I thought I'd start a series today leading up to a Armageddon Apocalypse game. So right here I've got uh, just a lot of stuff I've been meaning to show off for a while, uh, as well as a Steel Legion army. Um, this Apocalypse game, it's going to be coming up in a couple months. Um, it's going to be versus Orcs, of course, it's Armageddon, and versus Imperial Guard, specifically Steel Legion, um, Deathcore of Krieg, and the Elysian Drop Troops. Um, I only have the Steel Legion on this table just because everyone knows they're part of the Armageddon, and you guys on the channel haven't seen these guys before. So, uh, let us start off. Um, we've got a Vendetta in the corner over here. I have um, four more flyers I need to get done. Uh, this Vendetta, I use stencils on the wings. Uh, they were a pain in the ass to put on. Um, just stenciling them because uh, I had to do a lot of touch-ups and they still don't look completely perfect but I think it turned out pretty well and it looks a lot better than a transfer on here and it, I think it looks awesome. Uh, the The scheme I'm going for with my flyers is kind of, uh, it uses Vallejo dark yellow and I just think it contrasts well with the gray so that's what I'm going for for all my flyers. Um, now we've got the Chimera parking lot down here. Um, you guys have probably already seen these chimeras. Uh, this is, I was trying out the Armageddon Steel Legion theme using, uh, just, these guys are just base coated, but it was using Nurgling Green for the camouflage and then just kind of a standard light gray for the uh, uh, base paint job. But um, I don't know if I'm going to just paint these like uh, the rest of my chimeras, but I thought it'd be interesting to paint some different chimeras, especially in the classic Steel Legion theme. Um, I think it looks pretty good and once I get them finished up I think it won't clash with these guys since they're both gray and it's just it's uh, something nice because it gets boring painting the same tanks over and over again. Um, I've got this armored chimera with the side skirts and the turret. So that's seven chimeras in total. I also have one that's unassembled. I don't know if I'm gonna actually make it by the time the Apocalypse Games comes around. Then we have the Bane Blade, which has got this Deathcore guy up there, Commissar, just painted up in the factory gray color scheme. Got the Shadow Sword with the Steel Legion Commander up in there. I uh, got Steel Legion transfers on all the sides of these, including the Bane Blade. I don't think I can get around to show it up. Oh, there we go on that side. So we've got the Steel Legion transfers. Then we have the Lehman Russes, so those two still need the camouflage on there. This is Pasca's Punisher, because uh, I've known that anyone that plays Guard knows how good this is with the Meltas, the Punisher, and the Last Cannon. It's just really good setup, uh, probably the best unit in the Astro Militarm Codex currently. Then we got Demolisher, Vanquisher, with the Deathcore Commissar up there, and another Demolisher with the other Deathcore guy up in there, and we've got a Hellhound. Um, now to the Steel Legion, which uh, that's what Armageddon's all about, so we've got a Veteran Squad over here with two Plasma Guns, a Sergeant right there with a Bolt Pistol, and a Laz Cannon Team. Uh, back here we just got a normal infantry squad. There's a sergeant, grenade launcher, and a missile launcher team. There's another standard uh, infantry squad. Uh, for the arm uh, for the apocalypse game, they're all going to be mounted in chimeras. Um, an entire platoon of these guys, uh, missile launcher and grenade launcher. Uh, all the standard ones have missile launchers, and grenade launchers on. Then we got the platoon command squad right here with the grenade launcher. Heavy Bolter, and uh, the Steel Legion uh, Lieutenant. Looks pretty sweet. Um, got another Veteran Squad with the Laz Cannon. And this model, which I just love this model when he's holding up the Orc Head. And we have these Meltas, and if you're familiar with the Steel Legion, uh, you don't have Meltas, so these are conversions. Uh, using the grenade launcher and then normal meltas. 
Here's the company command squad. We got a banner that needs to be finished basing. Uh, heavy bolter team. Uh, Steel Legion captain, since he would be leading the company. Um, standard guard guy. And then this by, I forget what miniature makes these, but uh, it's the uh, Master of Ordnance for Steel Legion. It's not actually a GW sculpt, but uh, I think they made it for the Heroes of Armageddon charity. But he looks awesome and he fits in with the Steel Legion so well. I've got a Steel Legion Commissar right here. Uh, oh, geez, uh, I don't want to drop any miniatures, but there we go Steel Legion Commissar. Looking pretty sweet. And then we got the other Commissar over here. Uh, this one, I uh, I have two because I ordered this from Games Workshop and he was missing an arm, so they just sent me a new Commissar. So I just uh, used the Company Command Squad um, robotic arm and just put it on there. And that's what I love about buying like uh, from Games Workshop directly and same with Forge World is you have, if you have a problem, they usually just fix it or send you a new miniature. And then we have the leader of the entire force is going to be Commissar Yark himself. And uh, my friend will be fielding Gazgul Thraka, so it's going to be a showdown between the two opposing generals, basically, of Armageddon. Which is pretty cool, and I, I love the lore behind Yark and how orcs basically think he's an orc, and how the stuff that he does just works because orcs believe it. Like how his power claw works, and then... Also, one of the things I saw funny is because I was like, why does Yarrick not have a respirator, yet all the other Steel Legion have respirators? And there's two theories around it. One is that he's got bionic lungs, and then the other theory is that the orcs believe that he just doesn't need a respirator, which I thought was kind of funny. So, yeah, that is everything so far. Again, uh, if you want to look back on my channel, I've got Deathclore and Allegians that are going to be fighting alongside these guys. The Vestroyans will not be in this fight because they were not on Armageddon, but here's the force so far. Um, yeah, this is going to be part one of a series about the upcoming Apocalypse game, and for the Apocalypse game itself, there will definitely be a battle report, or at the very least, uh, pictures and video. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more updates about this Apocalypse game. It's going to be really fun, two fully painted armies with awesome terrain, so thanks for watching.